guys, so today this is just a small tutorial on how to see your stickers. Um, I know from browsing around the internet I saw that a common problem is that people don't know how to or they're having trouble with sealing their stickers properly. Um, this is just the way that works best for me. There are other ways out there. But um, I'd also like to say that this way works the best if you are going to be doing your resin pieces backwards. And when I say backwards, I mean you're going to pour the front layer first versus pouring the front layer last. I have this little mermaid sticker book that I bought from Michaels for about a dollar. Um, I've already chosen which sticker that I want to use. All I'm going to do is place the sticker on the front of the piece. Now this resin has been cured for 24 hours, so make sure that it has cured fully before placing the sticker onto the piece. Now I've placed my sticker onto the front of the piece and I've made sure to smooth it down and make sure that there are no bubbles trapped under the piece. Um, there was a little bit of excess, but I'm going to cut that off later. Um, and I'm going to show you how I seal it once I just make sure one more time that the bubbles are removed and the sticker is laying perfectly flat onto the front of the piece. Now I'm going to get out my triple thick and I'm going to grab a paintbrush and I'm going to make sure that I am applying this very generously when I put it onto the front of the sticker and not just on the sticker itself but I'm going to just very slightly overlap the sticker in order to make sure that the edges do get sealed properly. So I'm just going to use the end of my brush to draw that outside line that I was just talking about to ensure that the edges get sealed. here even though I'm gonna cut that off later I want to make sure that I do apply the triple thick to cover that piece of the sticker that way when I do cut it it will still have enough triple thick to make sure that the resin doesn't seep in After finishing the outer edge, now I want to generously apply the triple thick to the inside of the sticker. One thing that I have noticed with triple thick is that the sticker does get a little bit darker when you do apply it, so keep that in mind if you do happen to use this method in the future. Now that I've applied my triple thick rather generously to my sticker, but not too much, um, you'll have to experiment with this with yourself to make sure that you know you don't do too much or too little. But as you can see, I've put on quite a good amount, and what I'm going to do is to make sure that I lay this on a flat surface because triple thick is self-leveling, and it'll get rid of those brush marks and the strange, uneven areas. I find that I like this method a little bit more because triple thick does self level. Um, it's a lot easier than Mod Podge which will leave lots of brush strokes once you've coated it. I have a piece that I've already finished and this is what it looks like. You cannot even tell that I sealed it with a triple thick.
you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do have any questions, just make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And I hope that this method works for you as well as it does for me. Thanks, guys!